my name is Katie Yang and I'm interested in engineering. <laughs> One of my brothers, his name is Ethan Yang, he uh, previously did robotics and I wanted to follow in his footsteps but not only that, I've always been interested in building things since I was young. I used to build metal like airplanes and I would also do a bunch of wooden structures. So joining robotics, I just felt like it was the right path for me. The role I currently play is I'm a mechanic but I've previously done software and I've also been part of the drive team. A recent um, event that we participated in was the smashing event, which is where we smash pumpkins and we also have robot demos that go on and so the kids can come and basically get interested in robotics that way. I think one of the biggest things is just communication and teamwork, which is you essentially need that your entire life and by being in a team with like 15 members, which is a lot, you kind of like learn how to work with other people and what's the best way to have a cohesive team. Um, I think one of them was like at our second competition because our robot wasn't performing the way we really wanted it to. It was just kind of, um, it was kind of the lowest point of our season, but we worked really hard during, I think, the winter to get up um, our robot performance. And so by the third competition, we were a lot better and we were really proud of that. Just join because there's nothing that can go wrong. There's no, like you don't lose anything by trying to join. So. I think if you're interested in it or it's something you want to do, just do it. So I I um I was interested in leadership. Both of my brothers have done it and um but like I wasn't sure if I could like actually do it. So I was always really interested in leadership and both of my brothers took it. So I mean I ran for like vice president, I think, or president when I was like in fourth grade and I didn't win, but like I just think it's always something that I really wanted to do, but I wasn't really sure if I could do it, so it was mainly my friends that really pushed me to actually sign up and uh, try to take leadership. So they were the ones who really helped me campaign and they helped me with my posters. I think just the environment, yes, yeah, so like meeting new people and making new friends was like the best thing for me because I really like meeting new people. <laughs> Um, I'd say if it's just something you are interested in, then you should just do it because I mean, again, there's no harm in doing something that you want to do and you can only really gain experience from doing something that you love. So I've always been really interested in the creative aspect of everything. So um, I've always liked drawing and so I tried crocheting at one point with my mom actually. And I don't know, I've just been really interested in it. I just saw a bunch of like posts and stuff online and I was like, this is something I really want to try. So I tried it out. And I was like, I really enjoyed doing this. So I started a business with my friend Ellie Shen and together we're going to make like a bunch of um, crochet plushies and because it's like something we enjoy doing. So we're trying to get our passion and just trying to make something out of that. It's called Kebab. It's inspired mm -hmm. because my name is Katie, her name is Ellie and we both use the word bub a lot. So we just decided to name it Kebab. So um, we're planning on doing a bunch of different like animals, but we're going to be taking it like any suggestions from people to see what they want. So we're going to be selling uh, mainly animals. I think we're going to have like different like categories. Maybe we'll have like a desert theme or whatever. And we're also going to get inspiration and suggestions from people to see what they want. Our main product will be our verbs because uh, Ellie and I both really love verbs. So I've been. Well, Ellie and I have been doing some research and I think our main social media platform will be through Instagram because I've seen a lot of other crocheters get successful that way and um, I don't know, Ellie's more the technical person about this but um, yeah, it's going to be mainly through Instagram and I think we're just going to look into what other people have done and see other businesses. Yeah, Ellie has started it. Ellie started it already. Oh, really? Yeah. We're, we're waiting to post it because we have to edit all the- we have to find out- figure out a bunch of like um, smaller logistics but it's like they're ready to go pretty much. I feel like- well, I don't know. I feel like one of the problems is just like we can't get that many people from our school to support which is kind of weird because we only have like 50 people from our school that are supporting right now but I think we can just- once our platform really like launches then it'll be a lot easier because people will see that we actually have products. It's hard to market when you don't have anything to sell at the, that moment. And I don't really think there's anything wrong with doing something that you love. So if it's something like, like for me, I love crocheting. So if there's something you like doing, then I don't see what's wrong with that. And you can just start a business off of that and you can like make profit off of it. And that would be the best thing. So there's nothing wrong with doing it. I think you should. Robotics doesn't take time for like the entire year. It's only a season. So during that season, I'll mainly focus on robotics. And then leadership is not that hard to put on top because it's a lot of it is during school but if there's like rallies or other events i'm like it's only like one day so i can always like skip robotics for that because 
robotics you can just i can go on all the other days of the week and then the business is going to be more i think it won't take up too much of my time i think because i'll do a lot of it over the summer but also because i'm getting really fast at making the plushies it's just so easy for me to balance i mean i have a lot of friends that are like here to support me so the reason i get up and go to school is because i want to see my friends and i might do i might run for asb in junior or senior year um i'm not doing it next year i'm not doing any um any leadership next year as for robotics, I might apply to be one of the program leads, but I'm not sure yet. I'd, I'd probably say like creative, <laughs> friendly, and like kind or something. I think it was easy to adjust, but I think the dynamic is really different. But like, cause like there's a lot more events in high school, which I think makes it a better experience. It's just the workload is just a little, it takes a little while to adjust to. But other than that, I think it's fine. I really like all my classes and all my teachers. So, okay, I haven't picked the, like, I haven't picked if I want to be on the more mechanical or like a software engineer, but I know I'm definitely interested in, in the field around STEM. So doing robotics is definitely a step towards that. And so I hope that by continuing robotics, I'm able to figure out like, what's something I really want to do when I grow up. I've had to definitely adjust to it. It's kind of hard because some people like like some girls i know they're like i have to try three times as hard just to be at the same level as them because no one will hear me and i've definitely experienced that before but it's something that makes you more i feel like courageous and if you're willing to push through that then you're really determined and it shows who you are as a person the best thing you can do is just keep pushing and just be who you are if you want to be someone who's in stem then just do it and you don't have to listen to what other people have to say if they say you're a girl, then you don't you don't listen to them. You don't so be yourself, guys.